Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the first video of 2021. Wishing you all a very happy new year. In this video, we will resume the Kotlin tutorials and we will get started with access specifiers. There are basically four access specifiers, private, public, protected and internal. Private, public and protected are from Java. The odd one out here might be the internal. We will talk about it a bit later. Let's get started with something that we are already familiar with. Public access specifier, you can use it with a class or any member attributes of the class that is function or a variable declared inside a class. By default, it is public. That basically means it is accessible everywhere and then you have private which means accessible inside the class itself it is not accessible anywhere else and then you have protected that means you can access it only in the same class and the subclass that's what the protected means of course we will go through the demo later to understand these concepts but let's cover the last one which is internal that basically means visible in the same module. Now the question is, what is this module? Well, this is not something completely new. What might actually happen is there might be multiple files that is file 1, file 2, file 3. You can combine all of them and create a library and that library is nothing but a module. And if you want to make any particular variable not accessible outside that particular module then you use the access specifier called as internal until and unless you are working on creating some library you rarely use the internal access specifier in kotlin otherwise it is still pretty common to use private public and protected so let's get into a demo to understand all these things so i have opened the intellij ide and uh, let's get started with something that we are already familiar with. I have this class called as a person. Now let's try to access this in the another file that is sample.kt which is outside this package to make it easily understandable. Let me split the screen here. You can understand that both of these files are in different packages. So now the question is, can I access this particular person class in this particular file? So let me create a variable called as anil, which is of type person. Of course, if you can import it, you can access it and you can import it because this particular class by default is public. And if I even write public, it still doesn't make any difference. That is why it basically shows that the public access specifier here is pretty much redundant. You can completely ignore that and remove it. What about can I use private? Immediately you can see that there is a problem. You can declare a class as private, but you do it very rarely. But if you do that, you cannot access it in the another package. What about in the same package? You can see that it is still a problem. So declaration of a class as a private is very, very rare. Now, can I use protected? As you can see here, it only shows me two possible options as the auto suggestion that is either private or public. I cannot use protected. That's fine. Let's go inside the class and see whether this is accessible the first name in a different package so initialize the person and after initializing the person anil dot first name the first name is accessible that means even without declaring it as public it is still public so by default it is going to be treated as a public now can i use private of course you can't because as soon as you declare it as a private it becomes private to that particular class uh, it cannot be even accessed in a class that is there in the same package only the functions that is declared inside the person class can access it what do i mean by that is i can say for example write a function here say sample function and inside the sample function can i access first name yeah of course you can but here 
I can't access the first name. I can of course access other things like age and last because by default they are public. But I won't be able to access first name. And as soon as I remove private, I can once again access first name. So that is the use of private. If you want to basically hide it or make sure that a particular variable is not accessible outside the class, then always declare it as private. Now let's turn our attention to protected. So what I will do is I will declare this variable as protected and let me see whether I can access this Anil dot first name. I can't because when you declare a variable as protected only the same class or the subclass can access it. What do I mean by that? Say let's assume that if I had a function here say sample function and inside this particular function can I access this dot first name of course I can access it but let's create a subclass here say class called say student uh, which extends person class of course I can't extend it like that because the person class by default is not open so let me make the class person as open and then change the constructor and inside this let me write a function sample function 2 and inside this can I access first name of course now you can access the first name because the student is a subclass of person so if you want a particular variable to be accessible only in the same class or in a subclass then you declare it as protected so these are pretty basic access specifiers usage that you will see in Kotlin. Internal is very rarely used when you are working with say creation of a library or something like that. Otherwise protected and private are the most go to access specifiers in Kotlin because even if you don't use any of these access specifiers then by default it is always public. So that's it about access specifiers in Kotlin. In the next video we will continue with other concepts so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye